guys what's up welcome or welcome back to another vlog say good morning guys welcome back to another vlog look at this spot he just found for himself while i get ready it's a good spot I already went and worked out. I'm wearing seagrass from the Madeline Klein drop. Are you watching? They're looking for shells. Showered and I'm about to do my makeup out here and cook a little brekkie at the same time. See you guys when I get back. They're cuddling over there. Two more weeks without a couch, maximum. Max. I'm home from nannying and my mom just left and Murphy is taking a nap over there. I have a sponsored video that I need to edit. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys really quick in case I get questions. My workout tank top is from Actiwear and these shorts are from H&M. They're so, so comfy. So. I don't know what I'm gonna do for dinner because I did end up ordering a HelloFresh box this week. Um, so I need to put that away. Hey buddy, come here. We are couchless. I want to edit it on my bed, so I'm gonna bring him in here with me. Come on. Go lay down. Turn off the fan though, is that okay? Because I don't want to go in on me. No, you're okay, you're okay. You're fine. You don't have to leave. No, come here, stay here. Just kidding, literally once I moved him, I should know better than this. Also, we're watching Aladdin now, like the real one. I should probably turn it down, but I just cut up some cucumber. And I find that he likes having things playing in the background. Like, it's, it does a good job of keeping him distracted. So I decided instead of ordering out, so very proud of myself. But I'm just gonna do some orange chicken and make myself um, a Caesar salad, but not from the kit, just from what I have. I have like um, lettuce and I have a dressing. So I'm gonna make my own little salad, make some orange chicken, just do something super simple and at home. Hey, where do you go to eat? Where do you go to eat? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sit. Good boy. Okay, there you go. I'd say I'm definitely getting lazy with the dinner making, but you know, orange chicken from a Trader Joe's really hits the spot, so I'm okay with it. I'm done eating, but Murphy is asleep, so load the dishwasher. Well, like, put my dirty dishes into the dishwasher. Probably should take out the trash. I shut the door and I just woke him up. So maybe we are going on a walk right now. Do you want to go? Or are you tired and you want to keep sleeping? Oh. Okay, well, I'm just going to load the dishwasher and then if he gets up, we'll go for a walk. I'm so sad because I missed it on my vlog camera, but I uploaded it to Instagram because I got it on my phone. But he was just watching The Lion King and we're about to go outside one last time. Go snuggle in my, oh my God, Jesus Whoa, what are you doing? Just went out for a very long, like, and I'm talking very long outing. So, shower, skincare, that's on the to-do list. I already had turned my shower on once when I had to turn it off because I thought he wanted to go and play more and I was absolutely correct. So, look buddy, here's the point. So, Lately, when I've been locking him in the bathroom with me, he has not been a fan. 
I don't know what else to do though because he likes to go underneath my bed and like chew on my rug and whatnot. So Okay, so this is what I'm reading. He's chilling over there. And then as soon as I started vlogging, he moved. But look. Look at how cute he was just. Guys, this is like my entire camera roll. Oh, well, I just took that and put it on my story. But look at how cute. Look at him. Look who slept through the whole night tonight. Okay, we're gonna go potty. And then I'm gonna get ready for the gym, for the apartment gym. I'm just gonna Peloton today. I'm just gonna do the Peloton today. He's watching inside out, you guys. Are you watching? I'm wearing Sage and I'm wearing Lux form and I do like Sculpt Flex the best from Set Active. I'm just rewinding Inside Out. Murphy's favorite movie is Inside Out, I'm convinced, which is good because I love this movie. But anyway, Seductive's having a drop today, and there's two colors that I really like. Unfortunately, I don't love the color that they called Mojito. I just don't love colors like that, like the greenish blue. Um, but there's, I think there's two. It's like a deep like maroon and a blue that I really, really like. So, I don't know if I'm gonna get either of those. I'll think about it, because they released today. But, I'm about to go work out, and I just restarted Inside Out. Murphy's in his crate with a Kong and some treats, and also, I'm sure he's gonna fall asleep after he's done with that, because he was like half awake when I put him in there. So, yeah, I'm going to work out. I got some work done before. It's 9.40, so I've just been working, but figured I'm gonna take a break and go work out. Um, I'm kind of sore, but I still feel like working out. So, yeah. Anyway, that's up. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're going to be, who you're going to be, who you're going to be. for nannying it's 11 45. good news i ordered finally those little counter organizers from amazon and they should be here on thursday so we're gonna hopefully like make this area look cute i need to run to target to get more of the starbucks pods like just the single espresso ones because i love the uh, counter divider things that i ordered from amazon they're really cute too they're white um that way i can just have more on the counter and stack things because honestly they're just like oh i know all that dog stuff is out there and it needs to be put away i also need to wipe down the oven but it's just like you have two little small areas you know what i mean so i'm hoping i can like maximize our space with those little dividers Guys, he loves his llama. His llama is his favorite, I'm convinced. I realized I never opened the whole fresh box yesterday when Murphy was just over here chewing on it. So I thought we could open it together because it's been a minute. It's been a minute since Mama's ordered one of these. This isn't sponsored, by the way. I pay for HelloFresh sometimes. What's on our counter? Okay. So we got Chipotle barbecue chicken cutlets. These are both calorie smart meals. So this is like a sheet pan meal. And then, oh my God, this sounds good. I wanna make this tonight with my mom. It's chicken sausage and chickpea soup. What? That sounds really good, doesn't it? Shake. 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 Good boy! Good boy! Yes! Good! That's how you shake. Oh, mama's so proud. Okay, I'm home from work. I'm gonna make this soup HelloFresh meal for dinner because actually, 
My mom is not eating with me tonight because she ended up booking some calls for work, so that's fine. I eat the soup one so it's easier to save. By the way, I had one person ask about our dishes um, that I keep showing, like the new ones from Crate, hi buddy, the new ones from Crate and Barrel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and link the entire like dish set below for you guys. Um, I know that they're on back order and you can still buy it. I'm pretty sure it just takes a hot minute to ship, which is what we did with these. Like we still put them on our registry, but it just took a little minute to ship. Anyway, so it's not quite dinner time yet. It's 5.14. I usually start cooking around like um, 6, really. So I decided I'm going to eat some cereal. And then we'll make that soup. I just didn't really know what to eat. So cereal's not a good idea. I can't remember if I've showed you guys this yet or not, but this whole divider thing is from Target. And my our silverware is also from Crate and Barrel. Oh my god, he always wants to be in the refrigerator. Buddy, no! I cannot be bothered to look cute right now. So, I'm not gonna look cute. Okay, here's the soup. Okay, soup is done. Oop, I fed Murph. But I think he's a little tired. Oh, there he goes. Maybe he's gonna eat now. Yes, there we go. Good morning. We've had a little bit of a slower morning, aka I'm about to definitely be a little late, so I need to hurry up. I'm filling his Kong up with a few treats, except sometimes I get home and he's gotten them all out. I'm gonna go put him in his crate and then head to Orange Theory. I've already gone to work. I pretty much just shit the bed today when I was vlogging this morning, but I'm trying to find the remote. What happened was my mom couldn't come and let him or like hang out with him today because of work. So he stayed in the crate today the entire time I was at work and he did fine. He didn't have an accident in the crate. I bought dog TV. So we've invested in that for him, but I put him in there with his food and his water. And I also took out the dog bed because before we bought him, I didn't realize how cold he would like things to be. And I'm also heating up this soup from yesterday for dinner. And I'm gonna make myself a little Caesar salad. So before we got him, I obviously didn't know him or his personality. So I didn't realize how much he would love like cold things. So I took out the dog bed so he could lay on like the cold surface of the crate. But I just put a little blanket in there for him in case he wanted to like snuggle up with a blanket. And I think that that was like a really, really smart move. So he made it just fine. I work from 1 to 4.35ish. So today I actually got off at like 4.15, which was cool and good for him. And then we went on a super, super long walk when I got home and like I kind of played with him in the grass outside. There's a fly in here that I got let in here in the midst of doing all that. But yeah, so he made it, he's fine. Now we're back and we're vlogging. And those counter organizer things that I ordered from Amazon delivered, but of course I didn't get an Amazon code because sometimes we get packages without codes. So I'm somehow gonna hopefully get those out of the parcel pending thing, heating up that soup and doing all that stuff. Cause I wanna like get this organized. I said we just went on a super long walk. So he's snoozing. The whole time I was at work, I was just like paranoid that he was sad or upset or mad at me for putting him in his crate for hours but he was fine and also puppies have to sleep for like i think it's like 16 to 20 hours a day well they don't have to but they usually do so yeah he was fine here's dinner murphy's currently sleeping but i'm still watching zootopia reading my book oh how is it it's pretty good yeah what's it about it's about some sister wives and this one, they're not allowed to know each other's names or where they live because the husband doesn't want them to get jealous. He's like, wait, is my husband doing that to you? Morning, it's Thursday. I have just got back from Orange Theory, took this guy out and fed him the rest of his breakfast and uh, i got the package from amazon with the counter dividers this morning when i was on my way up from working out coming back up here so mm, 
We're gonna organize the counters. I also did an online order at Target and an online order at Harris Teeter, and I have to go pick those up at 10.30. Because, you know, convenience is key. So, we're gonna go organize the counters. So there's, I got a smaller one and a larger one so I could do both sides of the counter. So I'm gonna do the smaller one on the other side. So I ended up just putting them together. I should have just bought one long one, so it's okay though. I think that this is kind of cute, I think. So yeah. What do you guys think? Here, look at it now. I mean, honestly, it's super functional. So that's nice. We just went for a ride to Harris Teeter and well, right now we're sitting outside of Target. But he does a really good job of just sitting there and I hold my arm over him the whole time. But it's also, oh, <laughs> it's also a four minute drive to get to where we need to go. So, and we don't go on many like major highways or anything. So he does a really good job of just like sitting there when the car is going. Um, and uh, yeah, anyways, we just went on a little ride. So first time doing order pickup at Target and at Harris Teeter. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. But yeah, I just have them here. So, oh, and they're bringing the back, so I should go. Online pickup or online order and pickup, drive up, drive up pickup, whatever you wanna call it, luxury. I really liked that. So I finally got paper towels. Oh, God. We were out. Thank God there was no accidents in the house because I had no paper towels to pick them up. Sorry, I'm talking to him. So I stocked up on paper towels. Let me show you guys what else. Got some protein penne. I love this brand of pasta and Colin is like weird about pasta and he really only likes spaghetti and I love penne pasta but like compromise. So I always eat spaghetti, I like it, but this is my favorite. So I got this for me since it's just gonna be me. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, I might've forgot, but Colin found out he's not coming home this weekend. So he'll come home the next weekend. So it's gonna be a whole nother week before I see him. And I was sad, so I got popcorn. I also got some peanut butter. I always get from um, Harris Teeter, I get the Crazy Richards brand and it's 100% peanuts. So my online order from Target, I got toilet paper, but I didn't have enough arms to carry that because it's a miracle I even got all this stuff up here with just me. But the um, Immunity Sleep with Elderberry Ollie Sleep Gummies are my current favorite. So if you've never tried them out, I would definitely recommend. I don't use them every night because you're not supposed to use melatonin every single night. But um, on the nights where I'm like, need to get a good night's sleep or I'm like having a hard time falling asleep, I'll use them. And then I got bananas. Oh no. And I said greenish bananas, please, and they really pulled through. Also, I want to make the banana bread. I think I'm going to do that tomorrow, and I realized I forgot to order the ingredients for that, so I messed up. I also got some apples and some avocados. I'm going to like put all this away, too. I love these paper bags that they gave us. And then it's like defeats the purpose of these plastic bags. Whenever I go grocery shopping, I like literally never use those bags because I just kind of think that they're pointless, but... And then I got some more eggs because I think I only have three left. So hopefully these all survived when I was attempting to bring up all my groceries. They did, okay good. And then I got strawberries. The last two things I got, this creamer was on sale if you have a Target Vic card, which we have. So I got vanilla and more sweet cream because I'm almost out. So I'm excited. I want to try the vanilla today. I'm going to eat and try and be like completely ready for work by 11.30 and then 
spend that whole next hour from like 11.30 to 12.30 before I leave playing with Murphy and wearing him out and like all that stuff. So that way he sleeps when he goes into the kennel before I go to work and then he's fine. He's honestly fine while I'm at work. I know like puppies are fine. It just sucks to have to leave him alone since my mom is not watching. Before I left for work, I got Murphy super tired and he did so good in the crate. When I got home, he was asleep. Well, I mean, I don't know how he did when I was gone. So I really want to get, I think it's called a Furbo. I think that's what it's called. I don't know, the doggy cams where you can talk to them. I'm eating some cucumber and some green goddess dip I just cut up. I'm doing a little bit of dinner prep. Um, so like I said, I'm not doing the HelloFresh meal. I'm making my own little meal tonight. So I thought I would share it with you guys because obviously like not everyone buys HelloFresh, but everyone can make what I'm about to make. So I'm gonna um, dice up some tomato, onion, and green pepper, cook that. I'm thawing my ground turkey right now, and then this is the penne pasta, and then I'm also gonna do a little Caesar salad. I'm like extremely hungry today. So yeah, I'm gonna just cut all this up. I'll show you what I'm done. I'm watching Julian Hunter Haven's first grease vlog, and I have like severe FOMO. I'm also jealous that like, they get to spend all, all the time together because with Colin being gone, first of all, with Colin being gone like right after we got married, I'm not gonna lie, struggling. <laughs> and it's just like nothing I ever thought like would happen. Obviously it was like a really last minute, really awesome opportunity, but it is kind of like super shitty getting married and then kind of having to do long distance for like a month. And I realize it's a month, but I think especially with getting Murph, like, a lot to handle and I thought that we would be doing it together and I only get to talk to Colin for like five minutes two times a day when he wakes up because I shoot a lot during the night and it's like usually around when I'm leaving nannying and when they're on a break to eat which is usually like when I'm going to bed and that's it so I've only been able to talk to him a couple times it's not like we get like long facetimes or like quick phone calls and he can't even come home this weekend. But I'm also really thankful that we have Murphy because if we didn't, I think I'd be even more sad and upset. And like, it's really fun being able to hang out with him. And like, he's pretty, he's a mama's boy now because I am the only one here with him majority of the time. So that's kind of like exciting for me. But at the same time, like I want Colin to be able to experience him growing up. So that makes me sad. So I'm just seasoning my veggies and like tomatoes with salt and pepper. My water just started boiling. So I'm about to put in the pasta. And then once this is like cooked a little bit more, I just add the ground turkey right into there. Eyeball the pasta. Okay, so I just put a little bit of olive oil and butter in my pasta, just a little bit. And then I went ahead and put in the ground turkey, let it cook, and now I just added a little bit of tomato basil pasta sauce. Um, super simple. What you doing? here for a couple days because I don't have to work. He's in his favorite spot, which is Colin's pillow. <laughs> Look, that's how he lays. Isn't he so cute? So I'm gonna let him chill there for a little bit before I move him. And 
I'm going to keep reading The Wives, which is so good. Um, like, it's still kind of like, I'm on page, I think I read to page 100 last night, a little past 100. It's still kind of like setting up the scene, I would say. Like, it's still, you're still like learning like info and it's not like into like the twists and the turns yet but I'm expecting like twists and turns because of Colleen Hoover's review on the front cover so yeah also I'm feeling a lot better I think that that was the first time I like cried from missing Colin and like raising a puppy like solo is a little hard okay obviously want to raise him really well sometimes I feel like I'm not doing a good job but I'm trying my hardest so that's literally all that matters anyway we're okay I'm gonna sit here and read waiting for Colin to call me it's 9 30 I'm assuming they're not on lunch break yet lunch dinner late late dinner he calls it their lunch break I don't know it's like weird anyway me and little man me and my best friend over here we're making it through and it's okay. We're gonna be all right. So I'm gonna keep going with that. I'm gonna keep reading because she's good. Morning, happy Friday. You guys know I take Fridays off. Thank God, because last night was rough. Murph got up at 12 and then again at two and then again at four. And it was just rough. So, hello. I actually need to get a lot of things done today because I don't work today and I need to work on YouTube things and this place is kind of a mess and just like I just really want to clean up and get really organized. Also last night when I was sleeping one of my earrings came out and then I went to look for it in my bed and I cannot find it and I can't find it on the floor so I'm a little concerned so my room door is shut because I don't know where it is. And I'm praying to God he didn't like somehow find it without me seeing it before I see it. Because it's got to be in there somewhere. And I looked through the sheets and I probably just flung it off the bed. But I was like, okay, whatever. I'm going to shut the door to my room. So, yeah. So he doesn't eat it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have great news. I found my earring. So, guess where it was? It was right outside our gate that I go out to let him out. So it must have just gotten loose and then it fell off and it fell off, yeah, and then fell off outside but I was honestly freaking out because I thought that he might have eaten it and that would have been very bad. So I've been like literally watching him like a hawk for the past like hour and then we went outside this morning and then I noticed it was missing and then he ate breakfast, I changed. We went outside again just now and I found it out there. So yeah, I'm gonna probably stop wearing earrings to bed. But I just like, I love wearing my jewelry all the time. I took my bracelets off for the wedding but I need to put my bracelets back on. I just haven't done that yet. But anyway, I found the earring. I froze a Kong in the freezer with some peanut butter and some treats. And I'm about to turn on dog TV and give it to him so I can go run some errands. I just have to like run to the post office and Target. But it's just like a lot easier putting him in the crate than obviously bringing him with me. So, plus it's some good crate time. Also, I moved his, um, I moved his food and water dish into his apartment, so he'll get used to that. So he's more comfortable in there versus him thinking he's in there for like a negative reason. I like continue to wear black, and I don't know why. Okay, I'm stopping at Target first. Do you know what I really want? Well, first of all, I really want to put makeup on my face because I haven't worn makeup all week, which honestly is like good and nice and like we love that for me and all my breakouts are like flat now. So I think that it was like a good decision. Um, I kind of forgot I just had to like park my car. So I was just like driving and not even looking for a parking spot that I like last minute found one. Anywho, I love that for me. But I'm like dying to put makeup on my face, so I'm really glad Wesley Ann asked me to do something with her tonight so I have like an excuse to wear makeup because another reason is I just like have nowhere to wear my makeup to. I just need to get some tape and like maybe a to-do list, like a just flat list instead of a notebook. Honestly, do you know what I'm awful at? 
calendars. I cannot keep up with a calendar. I try, I try, I try, and I can never do it. So I'm like, well, if I can't do it, why would I just force myself to do something that me as a person doesn't like to do? Like, I don't have to keep up with a calendar, and just because other people have calendars and they're good at it doesn't mean I need to do it. Do you know what I really like doing? Just my straight up phone calendar. I'll put things in there that I need to, that I really need to remember, but I also have this like weird crazy ability to remember dates and like due dates and things. Like whenever I have a video due, I never write it down. Like I can just see the day that it's due and I'll remember and I'll do it. Isn't that weird? I like I'm really proud of my like ability to do that. Like I'm, and I'm usually like on top of things. And if I like forget, I just have to go back and look at the email that says when I was due. Other than that, I'm like, okay, I'm good. And I like have this weird ability to remember things that are going on. So maybe that's why I don't really use a calendar because I really don't need to, who knows? But I don't know, is anyone else like that? Or is it, I feel like other people have to be like that. And then also I'm like craving a really good, like nice green smoothie and I don't want to like make my own. Like I kind of want somebody else to make me one. But honestly, there's not like smoothie places near here. Like I, and I don't want it from like Smoothie King. Like I just want like a genuinely like, like hole in the wall place that can make me a green smoothie. And we don't really have that around where I live. Okay, I kind of forgot we have a clean juice. I ordered this one called the double one. It's got like whey protein. I'll read it to you. I'm gonna go in and get it though. Okay, I thought it was ready, but it wasn't. I got the double one and there's almond butter, protein, almond butter, almond milk, spinach, banana, maple syrup, and that's it. So, I mean, she sounds good. I'm home. Hey, buddy. Look at this dog TV. Oh, don't cry. Don't cry, I'm home. Why are you crying? Because I'm here. I'm here, so why are you crying? Huh? Mama's here, so why are you crying? Oh. Oh, why? No need to cry. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. I've come to realize Murphy is just not a Kong in the crate kind of guy. I think he gets really just sidetracked with the fact that he's in a crate alone by himself. And I think he forgets about it because every time I come home, there's, it's still intact. And then I pull it out and I'm like, hey, don't know if you know, but this was here the whole time. Now he's occupied with it. So, I mean, at least that's good. But now he's got something to do, but I just kind of feel bad. Like he could have been doing that. Instead, he probably just sat there and cried. Maybe he watched TV. I don't know. I don't know. What did you do the whole time I was gone? I need to get a fur book so I can see. But I don't have one of those yet. Hmm? Come here, you big baby. Oh, you poor, you poor baby. Was it a hard life in the crate? Was it hard? Are you gonna be okay? I didn't find a little to-do list notepad tab thing at Target because they didn't have like anything I wanted. So I figured I should just look on Amazon. I had to get some stamps at the USPS store. I'm out of my first day beauty face cleanser and I just don't feel like driving to Sephora because it's a couple exits away and I'm just like, I just don't feel like it. So I looked up Makeup by Hiram's skincare video that was like best drug squirt, dr excuse me, best drugstore um, facial cleansers. And he said the Neutrogena Hydro Boost was a good one. So I just got that. There's Hyaluronic Acid Boost, Hydration for soft, supple skin and effectively removes makeup and impurities. So I'm gonna give that a shot just until I can get my first aid beauty face cleanser because I'm obsessed. I was out of my Trident Vibe Gum and I usually get the green kind, but they didn't have it so I got blue and this is the best gum. I've been chewing this gum for years. Like literally, um, I think my, before, or my freshman year of college maybe? I don't know, it's been a hot minute to be completely honest. Okay, and then so the stuff to make the healthy banana bread, I got almond flour, which is really expensive, so we are gonna use this effectively and wisely. I got stevia because honestly, I'll use that for other things too, so I just went ahead and got stevia. And then I got some chopped pecans and the rest of the stuff I have. So um, I'm gonna use oat milk instead of almond milk because I don't really, I didn't feel like buying almond milk for like one thing when I'm an oat milk kind of girl. And yeah, that's that. So I'm gonna get to baking after I pee. Make sure he's all good. Maybe give him some attention. Everything's set up, so here we go. I'll have the recipe I'm using linked below. 
I'm not a baker, so this will be interesting. so excited to try it did the makeup really quick i'm going to plate this banana bread okay i accidentally wasn't recording but here it is okay here's what it looks like okay mm. i mean i think it tastes good i don't think it's bad i think it's good it definitely tastes like the healthier version because it is but I still think it's worth trying to make if you want to make it at home because I think it tastes pretty good. Wesley and I are going to go to Cantina 1511, one of our fave restaurants, but it is just far too hot outside for Murphy to come. So he's staying here. I just took him on a little walk so he like falls asleep and stuff. But I'm just wearing these shorts from Princess Polly. They're called the Swalla shorts, like S-W-A-L-L-A. But they're like my favorite jean shorts. So I think that they still sell them too. So I'm proud of myself for a stupid reason. Um, I'm proud of myself for doing my job. Literally, I'm not even kidding. I'm proud of myself because I just took an Instagram picture for the feed. And I, this whole past week, well, I think it also because of like the dog and like how much of a hassle is it to put him in his crate and to get all ready to go take an Instagram picture when this whole week I'm like not going anywhere. So anyway, I am dressed and I'm very overexposed. Sorry, God. I'm dressed and now the lighting's awful. Hmm. Well, this sucks. Anyway, moral of the story is I'm dressed, wearing makeup. I was like, Bianca, if you do not take a picture, if I don't grab a photo for the gram, I suck. Moral of the story is the lighting is really bad, but I got the shot. I got the Instagram picture. I'm trying to do my job. One of them. Wesleyan and I just ate, but unfortunately, for some reason, I completely forgot that I'm like vlogging and do YouTube and didn't even take an Instagram story or anything. <laughs> So, you know, that's good because we're in the moment, but yeah, I, I did not do any of that. So, <sighs> LOL, all good. It's 8.20, Murph's been alone for like two hours. So we're gonna go rescue him and we're gonna sit on our makeshift couch, watch a movie. Uh -huh. 